Here at this International Press Center event, these men and women are journalists who are recent victims of attacks while in the course of their duty. They're the lucky ones. Shirin Abu al a well-known Palestinian journalist for Al Jazeera, was shot and killed on Wednesday, 11th of May, 2022, while covering an Israeli raid in the occupied West Bank town of Jenin. I noticed I wasn't the only one. The International Press Center is giving these Nigerian journalists a platform to tell their stories of harassment and arbitrary arrest during the COVID-19 pandemic and the NSARS protests. We need to document the experiences of these journalists and other media professionals in greater detail for the purpose of capturing what, they re what really transpired and sensitize relevant stakeholders on the need to put a halt to such unwelcome practices. The documentaries presented at this event showed the harassment of 12 journalists. Some of them are present here. They tell their stories and suggest ways journalists can be protected from harassment. We must begin to demand tentative, I mean, practicable ways of, if you assault any of us beyond giving apologies, let's blank them out. We need uh, a society that is better enlightened about the role of the media, because that way they can stretch out a hand of protection uh, when issues like this happen. On the side of the police force, they say they're doing their best to ensure these situations do not occur. A lot of schools have been opened by the Nigerian police force, like the Nigerian Police Public Relations Schools. We have this whereby officers will be coming to have this interaction with members of uh, the, uh, the, the journalists and also NIPR to have this interface with them during the training. We train officers on a regular basis on that. And uh, maybe in the nearest future, I think these officers that will be on the field will be a more, they will be more uh, enlightened, more motivated officers to deal with other members of the public. These particular cases, the NSARS protests and the COVID-19 pandemic were unprecedented. So a lot of the security personnel were not sure how to handle these situations. What's important going forward is that the lessons from these two situations are learned by these operatives. Kayla Magua, Channels Television News.